Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a couple of months and I apologize. I just need to take some time for myself and to spend with my family and just kind of take a break. But I am back and I missed you all so, so much and I love you all so much and I hope you have had a wonderful past couple of months. This video is gonna be a little, okay, it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> because it was entirely unexpected. It wasn't planned. It was during a video chat call between my mom and brother and my husband was by me. Totally unexpected, crazy. I don't even know if anybody will believe us, but I got a little video clip that I will share at the end of the story time. This is gonna be a, our ghostly experience while video chatting. I know it sounds crazy, but it happened and let's just get into the story time so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. So to start with this story time, it is, it's an, it's a crazy one. My mom is living in this apartment and I try to video chatter as much as I can. Well, typically when I video chatter, she'll go out and walk her dog and I'll just be sitting there waiting and I'll hear like rustling around or some movement. Nothing too crazy though. Well, <laughs> I really hope you guys if you do believe in the paranormal, um, don't think we're crazy. <laughs> and if you don't believe, maybe this will make you a believer because the paranormal likes to make itself known when you least expect it to. When, you know, we, <laughs> I can't even talk because it's just, it's got me pretty baffled. And, you know, my family, we're really big in the paranormal and are big believers, but this definitely made us true, true believers after this experience. And you have that where you go through life and you, you, you love paranormal, you believe in it, you try searching for evidence, and most of the time you get a little knock here or you see something out of the corner of your eye that you can't explain. But this was like above and beyond that. And the fact that it was over video chat just makes it so insane and unexplained. And what happened was my mom and my brother and I were video chatting and just talking. My mom was like, hey, I'm going to go walk my dog. I'll be right back. And me and my brother were like, okay, cool. We'll just chat. And my mom was telling my brother, you know, hey, pay attention. If you hear anything in the background, let me know. Because typically when Dana's on the phone, she'll hear some like walking around here and there or stuff kind of being shuffled around. And we were like, yeah, we'll, we'll keep an ear out and let you know if we hear anything. My mom has experienced things going flying off shelves, things falling off of her fridge when it was pushed away in the back. She's seeing um, like shadowy figures out of the corner of her eye. She's heard walking around. And when I went out there to visit, I myself was sitting in her living room by myself and it looked out of the corner of my eye where her kitchen is. There's like the cutout where the the island is. And out of the corner of my eye, it looked like something popped its head up by the sink and popped back down. So I went and checked and nothing was there. Kind of brushed it off. Whatever. Maybe I'm jet lag tired. Didn't read too much into it. <clears throat> well, me and my brother are just talking. My mom's out of the apartment. No one's there with her. She lives by herself. And we're just kind of in a really deep, heavy talk, me and my brother, not really paying attention, just 
having a brotherly sister chat. And all of a sudden, I hear, like, rustling around. So I stop mid-sentence, and I'm listening to it, and it's getting louder and louder and louder. And it sounds like utensils moving around and just things being moved around. So my brother starts listening with me, and I'm like, do you hear that, right? And he's like, Hey, yo, is anyone in the apartment? And I go, Harley, we're in the living room. Where my mom had <clears throat> her phone sitting is she had it flat on an end table. So we're looking straight up. There's a lamp we're looking up at and then the ceiling. And I was like, no, we would have heard the front door because the front door makes a loud suction noise. And I was like, no one's in, no one's in there. So we're listening and, you know, my brother's like, hey, on, well, real quick, on the lamp, there is, um, my mom has these Hawaiian flowers hanging off of it. You know, the flowers on the little thread. She has that hanging off of her lamp. And my brother's like, well, if anything's there, make the flowers move. So they, they start moving a little bit. And my brother was like, man, I really wish that it would do something drastic and like yank those flowers down because they were kind of up a little bit. All of a sudden, these flowers yanked down hard and we just stop and we're like, oh my God, did that just happen? No one's around. We would see a hand reaching over it because the light's on and it's nighttime. So we would have seen like someone's hand go and grab it. it. It yanked it so hard down. And we just kind of sat there like, oh my God, it responded to what you just said. He didn't necessarily ask it. He just said, I wish it would just yank it down to kind of prove it because the flower's moving a little bit. And it did it. It yanked them down. So my brother's like, all right. If that's really something there, yank them down again. A few minutes later, not even, it yanks it down hard again, pretty much taking it off the lamp. And we just sat there like, oh my God, this is not happening right now. And I'm like, Harley, I told you every time I'm video chatting with mom and when I was staying there, Stuff would happen, but I've never witnessed anything like this. So now we're getting kind of amped up, like, oh my God, this thing is responding to us and it's doing something. So let's see what we can get. Meanwhile, we're on video chat and I can't record. So I'm like, oh my God, and I'm not recording. This stinks. And my brother's like, all right, well, let's go a step up. Since you moved the flowers, you know, thank you. Um, can you move the phone? You guys, I kid you not. My mom's phone slid back and I start tearing up because at this point, yeah, I, we love paranormal and we always seek to get answers and have things happen. But when you're in that moment and it happens and you can't see, you know, when a phone's laying flat, the, whatever's standing there can see you. But you can't see them. And that is what freaked me out. The fact that something was standing there, paranormal, looking down at us, listening to us, and doing what we were saying. But we couldn't see it. And I start crying and freaking out at this point. I'm like, oh my God. I start hype, like panicking. I can't breathe. And I'm like, this is exciting. But I'm also scared to death because I've never witnessed this. All of the paranormal adventures I've been on, all the ghost shows and movies and watching other people do ghost stuff. I personally have never witnessed this myself. So I was like, oh my God, I can't breathe. So my brother was like, well, let's see if it'll do it again. And he's like, you know, hey, if you're still there, can you move the phone again? And it slides the phone again. At this point, I'm like, oh my God. I can't believe this just happened and we're both witnessing it. And my brother just says, 
we all believed in the paranormal. But this just made me never question it again. I'm a true believer now. And I was like, same. I will never sit here and question it again. Like, maybe it's this. Maybe it's that. Is this really, you know? And my brother just goes, and we're just, we're in shock at this point that this is happening over a video chat. And my brother just says, no one's going to believe us. And I just looked and I was like, no, they're not. N no one's going to believe us. This, I don't even believe it. it. I feel like I'm like, I don't even know what, what just happened. So my mom comes in and we're still kind of like freaking out. And she grabs the phone and I'm like, mom, are you messing with us? And she's like, oh my God, are you crying? And I was like, mom, I'm, de I'm dead serious. Please tell me you're not messing with us. And she's like, no, I just came in from walking my dog. And she's like, why? What's happening? And I'm trying to get it out and tell her. And my brother goes, I got it. I'll tell her. So I'm calming myself down at this point. And my brother tells her everything. And she's like, at first I told her, I was like, you need to get out of the apartment now because I wasn't sure what was going to happen and I'm not in the same state as my mom. So she's standing outside and my brother's telling her everything I just told you guys what happened. And she's like, and then she was like, I told you guys, I told you I've had bread fly off my microwave. I've had things on top of my fridge that were pushing the back fall off. I've you know, just so much stuff happening. And I was like, we believe you because we just witnessed something that is insane. And my brother was like, hey, can you go inside and check the flowers? Because it, it ripped them down. And she went inside and I kid you not, guys, the flowers were still hanging on the lamp. And we were like, mom, I swear to God, this just happened. Well, <clears throat> we asked my mom to leave again so we can continue to investigate and see what we can get. At this point, my husband is sitting right by me and he has his phone, which is where the clip at the end of this video, you will see a little clip that we were able to get because with him recording on his phone, the file just was not sending fully for the full video. I'll try to see what I can do at a later time, but you're going to see the part that is just insane. And so we're out and it's me, my husband sitting by me, and then my brother on video chat. And my mom's gone. She has not been here during these times. She is not doing it. And, you know, we're sitting there and talking to it and the flowers are moving. There's like this white face in this area, which would be like pretty much over the phone where the ceiling is. And it looks, at first we thought it was a fire alarm and we had asked my mom later on, Hey, is there anything on your ceiling above where that ta end table is? And she pointed up and nothing is there. So that was insane because there was this white thing, like white orb that just sat there. Like it was leaned over looking at us, listening for a, the longest time. Um, we had, it looked like when my husband was watching it, it he saw like something lean in this way and then lean back out of frame. Um, we're sitting there just hearing all this movement and commotion. It, it was, it, it was honestly so much to take in because so much was happening over a video chat. Um, we had asked the flowers to move again so we could show my husband the flowers yanked down. They were moving like crazy. We would hear utensils falling. Um, there was like something by the phone that fell. At the time, we didn't know what it was. But later on, we found out what it was. But I'll get to that. So, you know, we're asking questions like, hey, if you're there, make yourself known. We want to talk with you. Find out a little more information. If you can. And, you know, my brother's like, hey, move the phone again. For the longest time, we just heard a lot of commotion, a lot of stuff being knocked over. 
And all of a sudden, the phone slides quick. And my husband and myself and brother were just like, oh my God, it did it again. So then it moves the phone again. This is what you'll see in the clip at the end. We're sitting there just waiting and listening to what's going on. And all of a sudden it takes the phone and throws it off the end table to where the phone is now facing down and the screen is black. We can't see anything. We all just were like, oh my God, it just threw the phone off of the end table. There's no way this should have happened. No one there. It's on an end table. There's no way a phone can just go flying off and flip over to where we couldn't see anything. So it was almost like it wanted to make itself known, but didn't want to be seen. So at this point, we're on the floor and we can't see anything, but we can hear everything. <laughs> and my mom comes back in and she's like, what the heck? Where's my phone? And... <laughs> All three of us on video chat were like, hey, we're down here. It, it threw us on the floor. Well, we ended up landing in her dog bed on the floor. Thank God. So it didn't break her phone. And she picks it up and she's like, what happened? So we're telling her. And the object that fell by the phone that I was telling you guys was her phone cord. And then she went into the kitchen because I was like, hey, there was some silverware being moved around and there was a like a spoon and a fork on her kitchen floor that wasn't there and there was a few other objects moved around and we're just like oh my god <laughs> did the three of us just witness not only all of these paranormal events happening but a phone go flying off an end table like that's like insane. And my husband captured it, thank God. And it, it's just one of those things where it's like, oh, I don't know. It's, it's just, you're baffled. You, you, there's no words to explain when these moments happen to you. And like I've said before, we all who believe in the paranormal and are into it sit here chasing for this evidence and waiting for this to happen. And then it happens and you're just like, oh my God. Wow. You're just like, I finally witnessed it. But then you're also sitting there like, who's going to believe this? You know, like everything we went through, who's going to believe that we're sitting here on a video chat and this is happening. Like, it's just, it was definitely crazy experience. I'm happy that my brother and husband got to experience it. Hopefully one day I can make it out there and do an in-person, you know, investigation for you guys. Um, I'm grateful that I got to witness it because now I don't question anymore and it just makes me want to do even more and see what more I can capture for others to be able to witness. And was it terrifying? Absolutely. Because you don't know what's there and you don't know what's looking at you that you can't see. I think when we can't see things, that's what makes it more terrifying because you don't know what is around you. But it did definitely have me in tears. I was scared. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was pretty scared. I was like, <laughs> but it was just one of those moments where it just kind of made you go, wow, this is terrifying and incredible at the same time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this story time and I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments what you think. 
and I love you all so much. I missed you a lot. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and stay tuned for the next video. Might be as crazy as this. Maybe I'll try to see if I can get everyone on video chat and do another video chat at my mom's apartment. I'm ghost hunting over video chat. <laughs> Who would have thought? But hey, if it'll do something for us again, then I'll have a video for you guys and share it for you and let you know what we find. But I definitely hope you enjoyed my over the phone video chat ghost story. And I will try to do a couple shots of the video at the end because it is a phone recording a phone. So um, I'll do my best on making that clear for you guys, but it is the video part where the phone goes flying off of the end table. So I will try to get, get it to where it's clear for you guys to see. Um, but yeah, hit that like button. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, become a part of our family. Again, comment down below what you think, or if you have any ghost experiences that might be even more terrifying than mine or just any ghost experience you have because I think anything can be terrifying because we don't see it even though we seek it and want to see it when it does happen it's terrifying <laughs> but I love you all so much and I will see you in the next video bye oh there it goes again yeah look at it go oh my god oh my god it dropped the phone Oh, shit. It threw the oh, phone way. down. This is done talking. Yeah. That did not just happen. And oh my god! Oh my god! I dropped the phone. That did not just happen.